Why do we worship? That's a great question. Why do we worship? Now, we could really get into this and really discuss it, but maybe today we'll just do something real short. And just to let you know, we're going to be learning all about why we worship in Stepping Stones, and I encourage you to come as you learn more. Now, this question, why do we worship? I want to break it down into three different questions. What really is Christian worship? And what is our part in worship? And why do we worship together? So, what is real Christian worship? You may have heard this, these words before. You like me. You really like me. Well, it's not exactly what Sally Field said in her acceptance speech for her Oscar as Best Actress in 1985. But it gets to, across to us of what she wanted. She wanted those in the audience to know uh, that she wanted to be honored and respected for what she had done. Basically, Sally Field wanted recognition. A lot of people think that's what God wants from us in worship, to honor Him and respect Him and give Him back all these things. But in reality, God wants to serve us. He doesn't need to be told how big and powerful He is. He knows. Here in worship, He wants to serve us. He wants to love us. Jesus said in Matthew twenty twenty eight, The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give His life as a ransom for many. And even though Jesus rules from heaven, He still serves us and wants to serve us. So Christian worship is just letting God serve us. Here, in church, is the only place, the only place in the entire world where the goal is to receive the forgiveness of God. This is why we are called to worship. And in fact, when we talk about worship, here in the Lutheran setting, we call it service, because God serves us. Now, now that we know that God wants to serve us, then what is our role? And that's that second question. What is our part in worship? Now, we see throughout the Bible that the faithful fall down at their feet to worship God. This falling down at their feet is a response to what God has done. We can see it throughout the Gospel. After being healed, the people fall at Jesus' feet to worship Him. In church, we are healed of our sins. And the things that we do are, is our response because of His forgiveness. We sing for joy, being made holy. We listen to His Word that restores us. And we pray because God has made us His redeemed children. True worship is an action of faith. John 4 says this, Jesus said, But the hour is coming and is now here, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. True worship comes from the spirit of a faithful servant, a faithful reaction to what God has done. So what is our part in worship? It is response from the Spirit, a person acting faithfully by singing, speaking, thinking about what God has done for them. The thing God wants for us, the thing that God wants from us is a contrite heart. And we hear that from Psalm 51. And being contrite means to know that we have sinned and need forgiveness. And then, after receiving forgiveness, we rejoice because of God's great mercy. Now, all of this sounds like something we could do on our own, to uh, have God serve us and have responses in prayer or singing or, or, or speaking. But have you ever tried to teach yourself how to do something? It's actually quite hard, especially when you have no clue what you're doing. In the same way, we gather here at church to learn from each other, to help each other grow in the faith. Hebrews 10 says this, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, 
not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Like Hebrews says, we are to guide and encourage each other in acts of faith. What we do in worship and in church is an expression, expression of our faith. And this is why we worship. To be served by God, receiving His blessings like forgiveness and communion. And our response to that service by God is our acts of faithfulness by singing, praying, and, and listening. And we do it together because we all together lift each other up and together we grow in faith. Now, this is just a short answer to this question that could really go on and on. But we're going to learn about all of this stuff at Stepping Stones. And I encourage you, please come and intend and enjoy what God has to offer.